Good morning, I hope you're off to an amazing day. Okay, really fast, go grab a cleaning, cleaner, cleaning supply products. I have a bucket of big water, a bucket of warm water, a big bucket of warm water that I've mis mixed with my Mrs. Myers multi-service concentrate. I was supposed to hop on here and do a major cleaning of my fridge. And the reality is, I realized I had done some other video this morning, so I only have about I have like 15 minutes, you guys, to clean out my fridge. So if you're like me and you're like, you know what? My fridge needs a deep cleaning, but I don't have time to, go ahead. Let's take 15 minutes and just see what we can do. I, okay, it's 8.44. Y'all stop me at 8.54, my time. So y'all tell me what you're doing. Good morning, Deliska. Also, we these are all the, this, this week in the home planner, if you have the home planner, the goal is to tackle your fridge, which is why I was like, I can surely do this. Um, but then I realized I don't have time. So I'm gonna give you a couple quick tips on what I'm doing. We'll also show you the home planner. Like I said, I've got 10 minutes. We'll see how we do. Set your timer, guys, for 10 minutes. What can we do in 10 minutes? Because maybe you're like me and you don't have any more time than that. Good morning, Christina. Hi, Gretchen. Hi, Deliska. Y'all tell me good morning. Okay, I have Parmesan cheese that is not gonna go bad. 7.24. I've got time on that, don't I? I have a little bit of sour cream. I bet this ricotta is bad. Let's look. Oh, it's not bad. Hey, I need to make something with a ricotta. What can I make with a ricotta, guys? Um, my eggs are fine. These bear, I try to put all of my dairy up on the top shelf. I am gonna, I have time to at least wipe that one down. So I'll at least get through that one. Good morning, Susie. Hey, Rhonda. Hi, Deb. I'm so glad y'all are here this morning. Y'all hit that share this button and I'll enter you to win. Ooh, y'all, this is gross. I'm gonna enter you to win a $25 Amazon gift card. Here is one quick tip I wanna give you. For all you busy working mamas, and busy mamas who are taking care of your kids, your grandkids, your parents, your whatever, whoever you're taking care of. I think a lot of times we think if we can't do a full-fledged fridge clean out, we cannot do anything. I'm here to tell you that the reality is most of us don't have that much time. This is expired. So when you don't have that much time, you do what you can do. For me, I need to throw away these strawberries. I think these blueberries are looking pitiful. I will recycle all that once we're done. This all looks good, so I'm gonna move all of my cheese to the top. Sometimes just doing something is better than doing nothing. Hey, Rhonda, thank you for sharing. So I encourage you, if you feel like the whole world is doing way more than you have time for, you guys, you don't have to do it all perfectly. You just have to do something. So today, as you're hopping on, do something. It's gonna feel so much better, and we're gonna have to listen to this thing beep at us. Hang on, we'll reset the beep. No, I saw that down there. Okay, let's reset the beep really fast. Good morning, Jill. Hi, Michelle. Thank you for sharing. Hey, oh, Michelle is having, Michelle, I need to make the lasagna soup with the ricotta cheese. That sounds amazing. These poor carrots have been here for a while. Oh, do y'all want to see what I made? Do y'all want to see the home planner covers for 2024 since this is the one part of the home planning challenge? And do you want to see this crazy dinner I made? Y'all, I'll show it to you in a minute. Um, I did a video earlier this morning, which is why I'm behind. Yeah. Anyways, we're just going to go through here and clean things up as we go. Y'all don't ever throw out the queso because your family will kill you. Um, there are some things in life that you just need plenty of. And at our house, it is queso. I don't know why we have so many. Oh, yay. I'm going to pour that out so I can recycle that. Um, I love being able to throw stuff out. What's the date on this? July 18th. What are we at? What's today's date? Y'all, what can I do with this whipping cream? July 18th. Give me a tip on what to do with that. How can you get your fridge to be so clean? You wish you could. Oh, Linda broke her humorous bone and she's on the couch. Bless your heart, Linda. I will be praying for you this morning that you will heal quickly and that you will feel peace and all of that because I know that is very overwhelming and not your favorite thing at all. I am so sorry, Linda. Y'all, can I ask y'all to say a prayer for a sweet family? I'm not going to start crying. I was debating if I would even tell y'all about this this morning. But as we're cleaning, it was a good reminder to me that when I was stressing this morning, thinking, well, if I was really doing good video, I would show them the whole thing. I got a message. Many of y'all may know this person. Um, Heather, oh, well, I'm not even going to say it actually here. I'm going to wait. and I'll tell y'all about it later because it might still be private. So I may wait. I'm going to wait. Um, pray. Will you just pray for a special person? There's a special person and family out there today. I'll just leave it and said, um, who might just need your prayers today. So she's a sweet lady and is going through a really hard time. That's all I'll say. Anyways, y'all pray for her. Um, today is the 14th. Carol, I can't make enough with whipping cream between now and the 14th. I don't think I can do enough. Ugh, okay. Um, 
Can you freeze it? You might be able to freeze it. How do you get the outside to work clean? We use, um, a, I use an a, aluminum, uh, what's it called? A spray for stainless. I use a cleaning spray for stainless that works really well. So the one thing I will tell you about my fridge is this twice a year in the planner is to deep clean your fridge. The reality is though, every single week, one of the things in the planner is to wipe down your fridge. And because of that, my fridge used to stay disgusting, but because I try to do at least like a 10 minute clean out once a week, I always, 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 y'all, this is my rule, always before trash day, do a fridge clean out because it will help you not to have so much junk. Um, also because my daughter is at camp this week, it's only my husband and I home, so we haven't had as much food here. We've been doing Prime Day and we've been eating it light. In fact, I think we've had day, three days of peanut butter and jelly, y'all. There is nothing wrong with having peanut butter and jelly. So I really have a fairly cleaned out fridge for me. Um, so the more often you regularly do it, it's easier. And also you guys, I have one kiddo at home, two in the summertime, so I've, I don't, and they're older. So if your kids are younger, it's gonna be harder to do that. Pour the whipping cream in an ice cold cube mold and freeze it store cubes in a freezer baggie until needed for recipes. Okay, okay, I can, I will definitely, I will try that because that would be awesome. Cause they're, I mean, well, whipping cream is expensive. I don't wanna waste that. Okay, y'all. We're through that much. Not perfect, but better. I am gonna go through these bottom shelves. I keep our produce down here, dairy over here. I'm gonna make sure these have not gone bad. Can y'all see me still? I don't know if you can still see me. Let me check the this. Reset our fridge so we don't keep getting... Y'all, where's the date on this guy? Oh. August, yay. Okay. These guys are good. These are probably my husband's. Those are all good. Okay. This little line is real pitiful. He's been here for a while. Those all look fine. This peach is a little rough. We keep all of our like beets and cheeses down here in the bottom. I think they're all mostly pretty good down here. Like I said, this is going to be a really quick clean out because I really did want to do a bigger clean out. Those are still good too. But this is just going to go fast because this is all different. Spinach from July 4th. It didn't get eaten. Y'all, it drives me crazy when I let food go to waste. Okay, the other thing we're going to do, how much time do I have? Y'all, I have four more minutes. Okay, we have four minutes, you guys. So if you have, like I said, I only had 10 minutes, but I'm just trying to see if I can make it better in 10 minutes. I'm going to go through this. This is my, this is like, I call this my junk drawer, I feel like, in our fridge because my family and I have disagreements on what we need to open and keep. So you're going to see, uh, sometimes we just have way too much stuff. I am going to try. And whatever I do, they will come and ruin. So it's one of those things that I'm like, how picky do I want to be? Because the truth is I can clean this every single day and they're going to mess it up every single day. But maybe just watching will help you be encouraged to tackle this. I'm going to put all the pickles over here and see how many we have the same. Well, that's pretty good. We only have one relish open. Okay, we're not doing too terrible. I don't even remember when I opened these guys, so I'm betting these guys are old. Best Buy. Oh, those are fine. Okay. How long, how long do you have after you open them, though, to use them? Is there a date? No, I think those are fine. Okay, good. Uh, family keeps all the sauces. You know what I'm going to do? part of the problem is that my family does not love using anything that is not a they keep everything which is great because I want to be wasteful but they don't like if you have to open a cabinet like you have to open this y'all my humans will not use this because they have to open it and for, for them for whatever reason if you have to open something it feels stressful so um the line you can cut and put down the stove is such a good idea. I'm pulling my line out. I'll pull out that line. You're totally right. I should have thought of that. Um, okay. So I'm going to give myself some more space here. Let me see if I have any other pickles. I don't see any other pickles. That's pretty good. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do our mustards. Up. Well, what other little jars do I have that I can stick up there? That makes sense. Oh, I know that's gone. Um... This is where we get into trouble because I have so many of the same seasoning sauces that this gets kind of crazy for us. Y'all, we have white sauce, white barbecue sauce, 
that needs to be dealt with. I'm going to put the, you know what, I'm going to put all of my little spices like this up here because that seems to make more sense to me. I'm going to close this fridge again and read your comments. Sorry, you guys. Okay. Does your fridge have an ice maker? Yes. Um, you bought the save food savers and they last longer than line. Put them in disposal. I got that. Got to have the labels facing. I know. I need to have the labels facing outward, y'all. My humans, do your, okay, if you put the labels facing outward, do your people keep it that way? That's what I want to know because I can definitely stick them outward, but I'm telling you, my family is not going to leave them outward. Like, I can try that. But then do they, and like, what do you do? So what do you do on these? Do you keep these all outward if you have enough room for that? Like, I have a lot of questions for those of you who do that. How does that work for y'all? Because it does not seem to work for us. This isn't horrible. I'm just going to at least try to get everything going the right direction. That will be a step up. You always face your labels out when possible. So what do you do if your thing is wider? Like what I, in my perfect world, here's what I try to do. I try to put all of my dressings like here. Let's at least accomplish that. This will make y'all feel better that I'm not totally a mess. I'm going to put all of my salad dressings in one space together. I will tell you that the minute my husband walks in and uses the fridge, all of this will go to pot, which is why I sometimes I'm like, why do I try? But I'm gonna try. I'll at least get that done today. And then if nothing else, this can happen here. Y'all, this is pitiful. Do I have any other salad dressings that I'm missing? I think I got them all. So anything salad dressing related should go there. And then I'm going to do all the barbecue sauces. But like I said, the minute James, I love him. The minute he walks in, all of this will go to pot. I'm going to put this down here. I'm going to put this up here. Y'all, there isn't even anything in that. Um, they also, my people don't throw anything away. Do your people throw things away? Because my people, it's like they will leave one potato chip in a bag. One potato chip. And I love them. Y'all, I'm not complaining. They will leave one potato chip in a bag. And then... It goes, yeah, it, and then I have to throw it away. So like that thing, there are several things in here that I'm like, there is one potato chip left. Why are we keeping this? That has to be there. I mean, this is bad. Y'all, this is as good as it's going to get for the time being. This is all I got the time for, I think, because I want to show you guys these planners. Ooh, fast too. Ooh, I am going to get that crumbly out. I'm going to wipe this down really fast. Y'all, I'm, I'm supposed to be in a meeting really shortly, which obviously I'm gonna be just a few seconds late for, but not too much, like too late. I don't feel like I did as good a job as I'd hoped to do, but I did spend 10 minutes. It got, is a little better. They will put it right back there, crazy. I know, they don't throw, the, you know, why, why do they, why are they afraid of the trash can? Why, why? I would love to know what the fear of the trash can is. This is not perfect at all. It's not even close, y'all. It is slightly better. Two step, I think it's two steps better than it was before we started. So I'm going to give myself grace. I had such good intentions for getting this all done. And why we have two ketchups? I did, yeah, we need, why? Let me move those guys up here. It's going to be slightly better. I'm going to need to spend some more time. I think I need another 10 minutes later today on this door. And that will help me at least be a little better. Thank you. Whoever just said that. Someone just said thank you for motivating them. I feel like this was a really wasted video because I had such little time to do it today. But I'm going to go come back in. I think I motivated myself to come back later and at least finish the job. And I don't know how. How did I do that, y'all? How did I end up with more stuff instead of less? What did I do? I got to finish. I will finish this later today. I promise. Um, I'm feeling very wasteful in this video this morning because I am not showing you anything successful, but I do have to go to a meeting. So I'm going to stop right now. I'm going to show you two things. Y'all want to see the two big things that I want to tell you about today. Y'all, I almost was like, just don't even do the video. Don't even like, if you're not going to do it well, don't do it. And then I was like, maybe somebody else is like me. I want to show you two super exciting things. One is the new uh, planner covers for 2024, which I'm super excited about. Bridget's going to the Dollar Tree this weekend to see if she can find some organizers. Let me know how it goes. Okay, Bridget, so I know your husband is probably better than my husband. My husband won't put things in the containers, which is really kind of annoying. And so I buy the containers and they go to waste. But neither will my kids. I would love to know if your husband will do it. Okay, this is planner number one, y'all. Say one if you like it. It is backwards right now. It is, it's, um, the Bible verse is Philippians 4, 6. <sighs> Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition, 
with thanksgiving submit your request to god so i love that one this is one number two is the blue stripe y'all let me know in the comments do you like that one number three is the pink floral what do y'all think and then number four is the blue floral y'all leave your comments while you're leaving your comments i'm going to show you what i made for lunch today I think I'm going to go surprise my husband at his office. These are uh, from the five ingredients box. Y'all, I did all this talking and I forgot to tell you, the home planner downloads. If you want just the downloads, we are sold out of the home planner for 2023, which is what tells you how to keep up with your fridge and all the things every single day. However, we do have the 2023. We're sold out for 2023 but we do have the PDF files available. So we'll put a link to those. They are $9.95. I mean, you can't beat it. So definitely check them out. Y'all, these are so good. They're the Kentucky Hot Brown Sliders from the Five Ingredient Box. If you have not tried them, they are in week nine, I believe. I did a video this morning making them. So yummy. Y'all have an amazing day. Take some time to take care of your food, your family, and your finances, and we will talk soon. Bye, guys.